Yes, here we are again at our five minutes. That's the time of the show we dedicate to the speaking of different foreign languages. Our guests from our uh, so idiomas are now able to speak the languages they have learned throughout their careers. Uh, Christopher has been with us before. He's both uh, fluent in English and Spanish. So our conversation today is going to be a little bit mixed up. It's going to be going through his uh, experience with the languages, but it will be in en both in English and Spanish. Right, I would like to ask you, Chris, welcome back here, man. Thank you so much. Uh, to ask much. you, man, about your uh, experiences with the language, and not only that, with experiences visiting different countries, right? Uh, from what you told us, uh, you've been to uh, about 12 different countries. Yes, yes. Of all these countries you've been to, which one would you choose today to live in? Like to really uh, place a residence in one of these countries, which one would that be from your preference? Or is there any other country that you haven't exactly been to yet that, mm -hmm. uh, in which you would dream about living in? Uh, is, uh, could you uh, tell us which would be your favorite country this, at this point in time? Yes, of course. Well, in my opinion, I believe that Sweden, Sweden. is the, the best country because I'm thinking only in my professional life, Yes. but I need to think in my family too. Okay. So thinking with the good country uh -huh. for my family, I okay. believe that okay. uh, Sweden, it's a perfectly... A better quality of life. <laughs> yes, yes, quality of life, uh, school, uh, traffic, right. uh, money. Uh, so, of course, Sweden not is so good to make money. It's not. It's yes, not, okay. not as good not as because good as... Um, every every people in in Sweden work and receive the same same salary. Right. For example, engineer high salary, and uh, in the line of production, right. a little bit. Less, no, but it is, is it's pretty much uh, balanced. yes. For example, in Brazil, in Brazil is completely different. If you yes. work in the line of production, you sure. receive uh, a lot less. Than less. An if you are an engineer, wow, you Correct. receive yes. a lot of money. Sweden is a, a uh, it's not a, it is capitalist, but uh, the the political system there is uh, it's more like the yes, it's very polite. It's very, the the sure. political system, the political system uh, is different uh, now, is completely different. open to another cultures. Right, so That's great. it's possible to to saw a, a lot of cultures uh, in the street, right, on the mall. So it's, it's very interesting. It's very different. But uh, in my opinion, yes, of course, because Volvo have uh, the main uh, factory or. Okay. In yeah. the country, and in, in this country, yes. Right. Great. But for example, I I really love Canada too. Okay. Yes. Canada, Canada, Canada. I really love. I, I have a. Uh, uh, That's a country a you would live in anytime, anytime. Yes. You, I I I, I never I never I never go to I never, Canada. Okay. Yes, I, I never went to Canada, but uh, I for me it's it's a good It'd be place one of your too. favorite. Yes. Uh, be, because for example, in my in my case, I work for Volvo. Sure. And in Canada, in Sweden, in Italy, in Europe, it doesn't matter. It, yes, they have you, plants you all over find, the place. Yes. Right. And the knowledge that that I have here, yes. I can use there, for example. Definitely, so. that that's one of the good things about your company. Volvo is considered one of the best companies to work for, exactly because of that. It doesn't matter where you are in the world; it's the same uh, mm -hmm. company with the same treatment mm -hmm. to its employees. Right? You feel like you're at home. That's what mm -hmm. I keep hearing about Volvo. Yes. Man, their experience is Ch fantastic. Change to Spanish now. Yes, uh, please. Yo, yo, sure. yo creo también que es muy interesante los países acá de Latin America. Uh, son diferentes, son distintos. Pero ahí yo ya pensaría, por ejemplo, en cambiarme, llevar a la familia igual, pero sería necesario ahí un poco de cambio eh, en términos de, de posibilidad para la familia. Right. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo cambio haciendo lo que yo hago hoy, no sería tan interesante porque eh, el sueldo que voy a recibir no sería tan, tan bueno para tan proponer bueno. a mi familia una buena vida, bueno. calidad y escuelas y todo. Entonces, lo que es interesante sería cambiarme con una posición un poquito mayor para poder recibir un poquito más right. plata, digamos, y así proponer a la familia algo bueno. Eh, pero también hay empresas ¿no? que, que tienen un proceso llamado de expatriación, que, que tú cambias y la empresa puede pagarte el alquiler, aluguel, te puede pagar eh, un auto, te puede pagar la escuela de las hijas, en mi caso, ¿no? 
Entonces ahí tú podrías, bueno, ya tengo acá un buen espacio, ellas van a aprender a hablar inglés, español, un montón de cosas, tener, mirar la cultura y así van a seguir. Entonces, perfecto. Sí, sí. Man, that's beautiful. He speaks just like a, uh, uh, like a, uh, a, a, a speak, like a, a native, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like, you know, uh, in every uh, Latin American country, uh, Spanish has a different accent. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't really tell where your accent is from. You know, I don't have that mm -hmm. much authority in the Spanish language. I don't know much about it, but it sounds beautiful. It sounds no. perfect. Thank you so much, but I have one point. Yes. You need to study for this. That's definitely. Why? Because Spanish is so close than Portuguese. Yes, oh. it is close, but it's not the same. Yeah, not is the same, yes. exactly. And, and for example, if I said uh, uh, R, R in... En portugués nosotros hablamos coger, coger. Pero en español es correr, correr. Yo, correr. yo tengo que hablar correr. If you don't say that, it means something else, right? Yo estoy hablando de esto. Ah, ok. Pegar, pegar. Pero en unos países, porque en Argentina correr sería una connotación sexual. Yes, yes. Ahí tengo que tomar cuidado. Correct. Entonces, yes. entonces es, es muy importante, es muy right. importante tener esto. Eh, por eso que es interesante es, estos pequeños tips. No, no habla eh, eje, es R. R. Así y esto tú, tú tienes que intentar hacerlo, ¿no? Right. No simplemente escuchar y ah bueno ya sé la comunicación yes. sí va a ocurrir, pero la buena comunicación es otra cosa y eso tú okay. logras estudiando. Netlingui. Great. Yeah, study Netlingui. You have courses in all languages. You can be uh, become fluent as Christopher is in Spanish and English, which is great. I wish I could speak Spanish as you do, man. <laughs> and uh, it's been a great experience having you in the show. Uh, we hope to see you again so you can tell us more about your experiences. I'm curious about uh, other countries that you've been to in which we didn't have enough time to cover, like Trinidad and Tobago. I'd like to know what mm -hmm. happened there. Mm -hmm. So you're more than invited to come over again and we discuss uh, your, uh, your uh, different experiences you've had all over the country. That's great. All over the <laughs> world. That's unbelievable. Yes, Trinidad and Tobago is interesting because they use another English. They use Eng Bri they British English. English uh, British English. Uh, mixed with another. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yes, yes. We talk about it. So watch the next show. Okay. You'll know exactly what it means. Great. Thanks, you guys, for watching us. Uh, see you later in our next show. And uh, it was great seeing you again, buddy. Take care. Take care. Thank Take you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank Ciao. you. Gracias.